Welcome to Dano on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Super happy to have you on board. We are checking out this uh, home away from home for me. This is the Moment Pick Hotel and we are here to eat some amazing food. So before we get into all of this, I would like to say a big hi to Dinesh. Uh, in case you have missed out on uh, following Dinesh, uh, he is a musician who was making big waves in the 2000s. If you do remember, the pop culture in music just rose to its supreme time in our country. Everyone wore baggy jeans and they all looked bad in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, the person who produces this show, uh -huh. he still wears those. Wears it? Uh, <laughs> the big ones, the jumbo ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. But there was such a phase in terms of music in our country, like I think 2000s were the best time for Sri Lankan music. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you got caught to that wave. Yes. Yeah. But what made you like sort of coming to music? Uh, because I wanted to, the amount of attention the people <laughs> got that time. Mm. And it arose me they to do leather so. jackets as well. Maybe yes, the same. La, like they were just <laughs> drained. <laughs> no, I was very new at that time. Yeah, and I not was you, doing, so I'm just Yeah, I, mean, I was doing uh, uh, designs for Bhatia and Santosh that time. And then something clicked that I should ask them, saying that Mada Sindhu can ask, ask I, would you like to help me? Mm. And that's how I got into music. So and, what's uh, the first song that you worked on? Oh, I've w worked on a song called Namura Marandipoi. That yeah. was my first song and it has a little bit of a buzz. It made a big buzz. Yes, it did. Because at yeah. that time, it was very hard for us to find pop Tamil music. Right, yeah. right, yes. I don't think even Tamil Nadu or Chennai was doing music no, like that. No, they were doing it but not like how Sri Lanka did it. Yes, true. And it was a, it was a total culture shock for me. Mm -hmm. You know, you did one song and you go out, people give you that attention. Yeah. And then you don't and know how to enjoy. And they didn't even take selfies those days. No, selfie kind of phone, there was there, no phone. There was no phone like that. Not, I mean. not, not big phones. Yeah. And then, and the best part is we didn't have social media at that point of time. Not in a big way. Ah, yes. We, we did not have so Facebook. No, we Facebook, had. Facebook, 2007 Facebook came. Ah, you were talking way before that. 2004. You are BC, you are before Christ. <laughs> <laughs> And then um, Instagram came on 2009, yeah. uh, you know, some that particular time. When we used all those terrible filters, by yes, the way. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, didn't have an idea how to push our music. Mm. So, but anyway, that was, that, that was how I was exposed. Right. That. So, that song, you did that and later on there were a few collaborative uh, songs that were uh, coming out with Krishan. And we, we saw the two of you sort of come out there and I was, I was very proud as yeah. a Sri Lankan, my god, they said the kitchen on fire, uh, to like see Tamil music taking centre stage here. Uh, Y'all didn't stick to Tamil alone, you all also sort of merged Sinhala music into it, so it reached a bigger audience. Right. Uh, how was that? No, because we, we actually observed a lot of Tamil artists, they've been sticking to doing cover music on TV yeah. and that's what they do. And they we, hold the mic like this. Yeah, inside. and I told myself because Krishan is very senior than me, so I told myself that we should not do that. Said that he's, old. <laughs> <laughs> he's not old, he's younger than me, by the way. Ah, really? He's, way, he's like two years younger. in than terms me. of getting uh, into, in, the yeah, field. In, okay. into the field. And then um, we, and I followed uh, Krishan's uh, footstep, which is mixing English, Tamil, and Singular together. Mm. And actually, I did that. And it worked. And mm. it made us connect to a wider audience, wider Correct. people, wider artists. We got and in. Yeah. A lot of diaspora following also came forward because exactly. they were just, wow, there's right. Tamil music that's exactly. like looking <laughs> sexier. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, that, was, that was the introduction to who Dinesh was. Uh, I remember the times when I used to see them on TV and, you know, getting music. Back in the days, music videos were not a big deal. They just had some visual. Yes. But the songs really did prove yes. that they are worthy of being played, yes. uh, but now it's the other way around. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> now the visuals are visuals amazing, are the, yeah. and the songs they are way like better than our movies. Yeah, of yeah. course, they are yeah. way better than yeah. our movies. What am I even saying? <laughs> uh, but anyway, so because of that, it's just uh, quite sad. Um, let's speak about what hit, um, what hit took him international. Uh, but before that, let's toast to good life. Yes, sir. Uh, I love this. This is uh, Acharu. Acharu is what I thought it was. A, it's it's like a cocktail. It's, right? Yeah, it's acharu based. Oh my god! Uh, oh, you don't get this in Singapore. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. I woke my soul up. No, I'm a fan of this from now onwards. Mm. I told you, it's nice. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So you're now based in Singapore. Yes, I am. So. Been got stuck for almost two years because now of COVID. Now you may have just made it home. Yeah. 
just made it home. Is life hard in Singapore? Uh huh. It's not easy, right? <laughs> Everything is. works like. I mean, we have a very beautiful country here, but it's just that most of us are not appreciating yeah, it. Including the trains, we are all just slow. <laughs> <laughs> we should go there and then we should see how people are working and yeah. how things are done. And it's a it's a very claustrophobic city. It's very True. small, but we have a wider space here. But I started enjoying Singapore because I started cycling. I started doing a lot of activities. I, you know, got see, connected. See, that's what. Yeah. If I was in Singapore, I would have been cycling. <laughs> That's why I'm not cycling. Yeah, I'd be hit by a bus and slammed into a wall. <laughs> the, the bus would have gone to two pieces. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's, it's for life safety that I'm not. Okay, so life in Singapore is good. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. What is the understanding about Sri Lanka in Singapore? Uh, beautiful country, beautiful people. Um, first thing they ask is, is everything all right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to say, ha ha ha. Come back to the whole story. Yeah. We, are in, we are in a troubled, yes. troubled situation. Yeah, and then um, the minute they see the pictures, the natural resources, they go crazy because nothing is natural in Singapore. Yeah. And I think they still have a very good impression on our country. Really. And they really want to come down. A lot of people are coming down and, you know, uh, enjoying the nature resources that we have built here. Apart from that, I don't think nothing that they enjoy. <laughs> Amazing. But uh, we're going to come back and speak about what took him out of this country and what sort of put him on the map. Uh, we'll speak more when we do come back. Do sit around. It's done. Uh. Robata, I just have some information to tell you, just like one well, of the two of us, Chevy, uh, just not like the two of us, but if you do come with like a batch of five, you get to enjoy a wine bottle complimentary. Whoa, see the impact that we have for you. Wow, fire. And it stopped. Yes. But and it's doing just it again. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, I really do like what they make here. Right. So I've ordered my favorite, uh, there's this garlic and egg. Rice, that's what it's been done. Anyway, okay. uh, we were talking about your shift from Sri Lanka to international. Yeah. And that was with the song that was done for here, which got picked up by there. Correct? Yes. Am I correct? Yeah. Tell me, elaborate details, please. I did a song called Surangani, yeah. right? Out of nowhere. And then it And blew. is that a copyright issue for Surangani? I just want to know. No, I like, don't think so. Who is the founder of Surangani? There is no one. Huh? There's no one. I don't. I'm not sure about it. Oh, so right, no one okay. owns the rights. Right. So I think we just took a 15 uh, second of the lyrics. Right. And we completely did a new uh, song out of it. Right. And it picked up very well in Sri Lanka. And then I saw the newspapers that one of these music composers in India is trying to do the same version there. So how did you, you didn't know about it? I didn't know about it. Then I thought I should show my song to him. Then I showed oh, my song. Oh right, right, right. So he was just trying to do Surangani. Yeah. So I said this was just coincidental. Coincident. Then I went and showed him. This is the song I've done. Would you like to remake this and put it up? He said yes. Come down. And his name is Vijay Anthony. So I went down. Um, you were talking to him as if you just spoke to somebody next door. I mean, how did you get through to him? Ah, uh, <coughs> I just got connected to him uh, through another mutual friend who's an right. artist too. He's a Malaysian artist. His name is Dr. Burn. I got his number uh, through, and then he passed me his wife's number. And then I spoke to oh. him. Uh, Wives are the best way to get Yeah, and then I told him, listen, I have a beautiful song. I would like to work this with uh, Mr. Vijay Anthony. And that's how we connected. But apparently the song from Surangani, it became Aati Shuri. Okay. And that was my first Hollywood experience. So there was no Surangani to Malugana about piece no. at all? No. So it's a complete new lyrics. Oh, but the same tune? Same tune. And it became a viral hit. And from there, it picked, everything started working from there. Now this viral hit today is made out of TikTok. Mm. 
but at that time it was just made out of a song yes yeah yes so we don't need uh, platforms those days we yeah. need the song to be good yeah. to go viral correct Yeah. So that that was your start into the Indian market, but you got into the Tamil Nadu market, Chennai market. Yes. And how? What are the other songs that you worked in after? Uh, I worked five songs with A R Rahman. I mean, A R Rahman sir is yeah. like my brother, and then I worked um, one song with you. How is it to be in a studio with him? Because you know we don't have such experiences, so we're asking. No, it's a it's 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 a moment come true because every time I make a song in any other studio, I always think that I'm in Rahman sir's studio. I always felt that he is watching me. So when I first made a song with him and when I was recording in front of him, I was the most happiest person. I was so confident I recorded. Most of the people said, "Oh, if Ramon says that we cannot record, we get very scared and all this stuff." I never felt any of those. You things. had a happy smile. I had a happy I just want to show off. Yeah. I just want to show off. So I just I do that even now when I go and perform with him. I've done eight shows with him, I've traveled all around. Even when he's there, when I pick the mic and go and perform, I'm not performing for the audience majorly. I'm actually performing the impress impress yeah, yeah. and then the audience so that's how it happens right yeah. so uh, you worked on these tracks with him and then you didn't stop there you got discovered into other areas of India because yeah. it's such a big film industry like it's the biggest in the world yes sir yes yeah. it is it is it is so tell me how how was the experience when you worked with other people other languages uh, i worked in telugu uh, i worked in allu arjuna movie isn't telugu the second biggest film industry for Actually, the first. To be very honest, oh, they really? spend a lot of money on movies. A lot of money. Yeah. So I've been told that in Telugu films, like there'll be a scene like they are in a village somewhere and eating a carrot, and for their song, they are like in in yeah. in Germany, falling off the next <laughs> big bridge you find. <laughs> Isn't it true? <laughs> it's yeah. it's like that in yeah. in in uh, Tamil cinema too. Yeah. It's it. But now people are. changing it they're going into a different style right but then again it's it's an amazing feel that when you get an opportunity to work with different people so i worked with uh, this guy called mv bantai he's a very big rap artist mm. based in mumbai maharashtra so he has about 17 million subscribers so i've done a song with him and then not forgetting sri lanka i've done a song here with yohani which is releasing on the 28th of january so this is your come back into the Sri Lankan scene now for a long time. You have uh, not collaborated with any artists in the no, recent past. No, not really. I've done work with uh, Bhatian Santosh, but but in the recent past. Recent past, no. Not the thing is, like you had a gap of about ten years. No, no, no. I also did a song called Vasama with okay. uh, Bhatian Santosh. It's not that I don't want to come here. It's no, just I'm that I'm not saying that you don't yeah, want to come here. Uh, obviously, this is oh. a, a beautiful market. <laughs> just that I did not have the right opportunity right. for me to come and do a proper Thank project. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I got Ooh. distracted by I looking. Know, I also got distracted. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah. Now that you got distracted, I'm coming back into the market. Yes, that's yeah. good. Uh, so there's a song coming out with Yohani. We'll speak a bit more about it, of course, when we do come back. But uh, right now, we are going to take a small break because we just want to eat this. So when we see Dinesh, not a lot of people know him anymore because he has changed his stage name. <laughs> yes. What do you go as now? I go by the oh. name ADK. What does it stand for? That's my full name. What is? Okay. A, A is for? A is for Aryan. Aryan. Aryan is a name given by my previous marriage, and I don't want to take it because I already branded it. Ah, okay. So that's not what your birth name. No, was. my birth name is Dinesh Kanagaratnam. That's it. That's it. There's no. I do have another middle no, what name. Is it? What is it's it? It's called Dinesh Prasanna Kanagaratnam. Right. Okay. So I like I Aryan though. Yeah, Aryan is a name given to me. Right. Which I don't want to cut it off. So I just kept it because. So you have Aryan, Dinesh, Dinesh Kanagaratnam. So A D K. Right. Got it. It's so much easier. Yes, they can follow me on Instagram. On I'm on Instagram. A D K official. Right. Just yeah. wanted to put the official part there. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, uh, Dinesh has come to Mother Lanka for a reason. Okay, I love dessert, so I'm going to go in. Okay, this please. This is a mango cheesecake, so I'm please go this. ahead. Let eat me, no. Let me watch you eat. E, I, that is a fetish. By the way, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit. Um, yeah, well, let me try this. That that's a fetish, you know. That, no, that is not a fetish. No, there are people who do that. And they don't read stories. <laughs> please. <laughs> Asking people to. Hmm. 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 I love this. It's too. Haven't I fed you so well today? Yeah, yeah not me. It's more fantastic. But still, mm. you invited me here, right? Mm. 
Yeah, it's nice. I'll take the credit for that. Mm. Okay, so what were we talking about? So you have come here for a purpose. Yes, sir. The purpose is you have done a song. Yes, sir. You have done a song with uh, the current most trending uh, music personality, Yohani. Yes. Tell me about it. Oh, Yohani is a nice girl, so I like her music. Mm. I've been appreciating her from day one. I saw her. Okay. And then I thought uh, we should collaborate on a song. Mm. So that's when we came out with this song called Rider Fighter. And we recorded this song about one and a half years back. One and a half years back? Almost, yeah. It was not done recently. We kept it for a reason. Why? Um, because I had some... Um, um, so this was during COVID? This was not during COVID. This was, yeah, this was during COVID. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. And at that time, she has not hit to this fame. Yes, but she was famous enough. Like, you know, she had about... 200 or 1000 or followers and she was doing a very good job. No, no. That time of course yeah. I agree. I'm not I liked that. I liked the song. I liked the vibe. So I thought I should do a song with her. Right. Then we did this song called Rider Fighter mixing Tamil and Singalam. Singala into mm. it. And she sings all languages. Yeah, and she yeah. sang so good. The Tamil pronunciation was so good even though I wrote it. Mm. See, I have a problem when someone else write my lyrics, I cannot sing. It's very mm. difficult for mm. me. But she's um, she practiced it and she did it. Then it took time for us to shoot the video. And in the middle of all of that, this happened. Yes, and then we shot the video two months back. Oh, okay. So we finished the video now. Everything is done. So we're going to release it on January twenty eighth. Okay, so somewhere during these exactly. days. Exactly. So that's amazing. So that's that's a song. So music industry is a big big deal. Um, how is Sri Lankan music scene in Malaysia and in Singapore and also in India? I mean, to be very honest, uh, they don't focus much on our country's music because they have their own industry but after Yohani cracked in and when I cracked those markers they started focusing on Sri Lankan music that's when artists like Psycho Mantra, Rabbit Mac all came to Sri Lanka they did collaborations they did shows with Sri Lankan artists and all now when Yohani clicked the market everybody's eyes have turned mm. uh, in, in Sri Lanka saying that oh this country has an industry mm. but honestly I I, uh, being out from Sri Lanka for almost two years, mm. now when I look at Sri Lanka's entertainment industry and their stage and their presence and their music videos, I think we have done an amazing job. We have really, really worked hard on music videos. Mm. But song-wise, there's nothing that actually captured me very hard. I also follow Vasti. There's mm. a big group. I really Definitely. like their That's music. That's a totally different... I love them. And then Yohani, of course. And then a few other artists that I really like. But if you see countries like Singapore, they don't notice much on our mm. platform yet. But they know Yohani now because she reached a wider audience. Mm. Yeah, true. So, uh, in terms of looking back today, your journey and your roller coaster ride from where you have started and where you are today, mm -hmm. what's going to be your next step? I know you have a child. <laughs> yeah, I do have. I need to do something that he remembers me that he doesn't forget. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I'm I'm getting it. We are getting into movies now, right? So we are planning to. It's enough of doing music after this. Maybe we'll do a couple of records, and then we will move into movies. We are uh, focusing on creating. I have a special interest in acting these days. Right. I, you should join too. Okay. 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 So um, a lot of things are happening. Uh, what type of role do you want to play? I want to do the villain role. I don't oh, want to no. do this. Um, uh, no, I don't want to. No, do no, this. you don't want to be the. You want to be the no, evil I don't man. Want to, I don't want to do all this thing. I want to right. be that. Not the evil man. I want to play a role, a proper role. Okay. So um, I'm I'm working on those th skills now. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. And okay. also, I want to develop my company, Rap Machines, worldwide, with my partner Abu. So we are working on all those platforms. We are to do Have you heard of the single movie Jangi Hora? Oh. For me, for me to even say that, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> but you should, I want to see you act in Jangi Hora as the huh. evil. Like the, the, one like who, the Hora? Yeah, the one who's robbed the Jangis. That would be cool. Yeah, I would love to do. It's, it's actually a great way for yeah, you who to doesn't break like the market, you, 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 I mean, I like... Yeah. I'm not going... <laughs> I don't even like my Jangi after I have it. I don't, I don't want other people. But I don't wear Jangis. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know about it. <laughs> What do you wear then? Huh, I wear underwears. <laughs> I wear jog joggers. That's the same thing that I wear. I mean, we call it I wear here. boxers. <laughs> That's what we call it here. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.